Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, I am glad this is what happened uh, today, and there's a Supreme Court strikes down university race conscious uh, admission policies. Uh, that is, um, when you go and try to get uh, to be admitted to a college, if you put over there your race, you receive extra points or no points at all, but according to what race you um, uh, the society ascribed to you or assigned to you. That's how we are supposed to uh, think. And I think uh, that is the right thing because it's a lot of discrimination. Uh, and I will give you a clear example of that. I am for meritocracy. That is, if you're good, you should uh, <clears throat> advance or you should uh, deserve that or not. But you're going to compete against others Again, with a lot of merits, a lot of skills. So I'm for the best of the best to be, you know, and according to that, they go down. I don't want to have a Biden or a Kamala or others in charge, which are mediocrities. I don't want that. I don't want people appointed by these guys as Blinken and Kirby and um, Karine Jean-Pierre. Again, mediocrities being over there. No, I want the best. I don't care if they're short, tall, fat, thin, blue-eyed, uh, black-eyed, I don't really care. I don't care if you come from the West, East, North or South. You should be American. That's what it, ma it matters to me. And that's what we say we love. Uh, anyway, I'm going to give you an example. As a general rule, I don't like, I don't want preferential treatment to anyone. Because preferential treatment means that if you help someone for a certain kind of reason that he did not work for, that means you think that person does not deserve, so it needs boost. So you, you're a boost. So that means you acknowledge that person's uh, less value, which you you, you immediately um, insult that person's ability. If someone would say, Emil, you go over there because you're Romanian and we're going to push you ahead of well, Romanian, Romanian born. Uh, you, you're going to be pushed over there, you know, and these guys know because they're Americans. They had all this privilege. You came from a poor country. You fought hard and you got it. So you deserve somehow that. I say, wait a minute. Am I better than Gigi at the job? No, no, but you were born in Romania. So that's why. Am I better? No. Then I, I don't want that job. He should have it for the common good. Remember the common good? It takes a village to raise a child, blah, blah, blah. Again, they works here, but not over there. Now, let, let, let me give you, uh, this is a general rule. No uh, uh, preferential treatment for things that you don't deserve. And I've been abused a lot. Do I get anything? How we're going to calculate the victimhood that I have, how the victim I was compared to you? Are we going to uh, count that? All right, let's look at this example. I'm going to give me as an example on this affirmative action and this little thing that happened here. I'm going to show you first the titles. U.S. Supreme Court strikes down university race conscious, conscious admission policies or this one right here. USA Today Supreme Court blocks use of race in Harvard UNC admissions in blow to diversity efforts. I don't want a forced diversity. I don't want a diversity based on some people getting privilege and some people just I don't like that. Uh, equity uh, diversity based uh, BS. So let me go to this article here first. The Supreme Court today, June 29th, on uh, Thursday, struck down race conscious, I like how they call it, race conscious, student admissions programs currently used at Harvard University and University of North Carolina in a sharp setback to affirmative action policies often used used increase the number of blacks, Hispanics and other unrepresented minority groups on campuses. Are you skilled? Are you better than anybody else? The, for instance, from Asians. Yeah. And I'm not talking about the groups. You as an individual, I don't care what group you come from. Are you better? Then you should be admitted. I don't want you to help to be helped. I don't want you to be pushed down. So the justice ruled in favor of a group called Student for Fair Admissions, founded by anti-affirmative. It's not anti, you know, it's fair. Remember, it's in the name right here, fair. Action activist Edward Bloom, I can only uh, think. 
in its appeal of lower court ruling upholding programs used to the two prestigious schools to foster a diverse, forced diverse, artificial diverse student population. So, um, according to Harvard, almost 40% of US colleges and universities consider race in some fashion to promote blah 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 trulu. I am against that. And let's go back to my situation. I am obviously a poor victim immigrant who chose to show up here. Well, I was not dragged from the Romanian plantation into the US plantation. No, I said I'm gonna go over there because over there I will get better food on the plantation. Ooh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna still cut, you know, sugar cane, but these guys are gonna feed me better, a little bit uh, less beating and uh, a little bit more. They allow me to sing. Over there, they don't let me sing, or they let me sing, but you know, nothing. They give me worse food and they want me to. <laughs> work harder. Uh, well, I said, this is the better deal. I'm just making it funny or trying to anyway, because uh, to a certain extent, that's what it is. I came here. They didn't drag me here. But it doesn't mean that you can make things better if you see them that can be improved. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do. So what happened here? I came here. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. I have children. Now, my children uh, are obviously started as anybody around here. Now, I am considered white. Okay, that's what I'm considered. And let's say a guy from uh, Uganda, my friends, or Zimbabwe, shows up like I did. And his children, you know, the same thing. They come here from Uganda and they come over here and they're going to benefit for uh, admission, uh, quotas, and how do you want to call them, affirmative action, diversity. My children will not. So his children, let's say, it has an SAT lower than mine but with less, a little bit lower, which means they should not go ahead of my children, but with that affirmative action, uh, up a little bit higher. They will go to college, my kids will not, even though they are proven to have more merits to go over there. Now, why, am I, why should I suffer and my kids be suffering? And why should that person who has the same experience as I, has, I have coming as a poor immigrant with my bag behind my back, I'm coming here to serve you, master, okay? All right? Why should they get it and my kids don't? No, I don't want that because I work for my kids. I did what I was supposed to do here. I wanted opportunity to work like a uh, 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 chick, 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 and I did. I didn't complain it, complain about it. Neither that person. But why should that person be pushed and I should be keep kept back for something? Some people did 100 and uh, whatever, 50, 60, 90, 200 years ago. No, no, I have no guilt, no guilt. I didn't do anything. So, all right, got from that perspective. And how many examples similar to this? My kids considered white are going to be discriminated against by other people that will push because why? They were born here, God damn it. They had all the advantages. Oh no, there was discrimination. It was. Were you discriminated? I was discriminated. So how can you prove that my discrimination was bigger than yours? And is that how it works? My victimhood I'm, was more of a victim. That means you somehow have to pay for my victimhood. Why should you pay for mine? Why should I pay for yours? So yes, I'm very glad that happened. I want meritocracy. And I'm not talking about only university. Look at these guys in, 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 in the Senate. Look at them in, um, in, politics. in politics. You see uh, Cheney. He was what he was and she, whatever her name is, Cheney. I can't remember her first name. Doesn't really matter. She's over there a senator. She was a senator. She was kicked out. And now she's crying that the, the system is rigged. What? How come you're, you are over there? T let's take the Bush family. Let's take the Clinton family. I'm waiting for Obama family. All these are, you know, um, trying to create a little families here. Is that, do you think it's just a coincidence? And I can go on and on. I like a Rand Paul. I, I like his father. But doesn't show a little bit of a, what a coincidence. Daddy, senator, son, senator. I like them both a lot, but I can't, I can't ignore evidence. In fact, it's just a coincidence. And how many are related? I think I had an, an article, I don't know, 15 years ago that I read. How many people in, the, in, in Washington and at the Capitol are related or in the US government, I'm talking about White House and uh, at the higher, higher hierarchy, biggest uh, hierarchy over there. How many are related through marriage to, uh, 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 to kids and so on? I think it was a big, big number, 80%, something like that, or 60, 70, 80, above, I know it was above 60. 
And that's already a up things, don't you think? And they talk about meritocracy. No, someone opened certain doors for you more than for the other ones. And what am I supposed to say? Did they do anything illegal? If they did, then out. But I guarantee, not guarantee you, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of those people did not deserve to be in that position. So how are we going to figure that things out? By what? By pushing others against others that have nothing to do with it? Why should I be punished? No, Gigi, no, I'm against that. Go and study, go and work hard and make a living. I worked here as a busboy for five dollars, six dollars an hour. I worked here like a like a like a like a slave. I want it. And I worked and I saved money. Can you believe that? <laughs> In this bad country that it is. But I didn't ask for any handouts. So don't ask for anything. I came here with nothing. And I have a lot, a lot more than I need much more than I need. I have so much that I gave to others, I'm going to keep giving to others. And you could, <laughs> I need the boost because <laughs> my pussy hurts. Shut up. up. Go and go. Change your attitude. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart. Look for the truth and be just. Jesus Christ.